The University of Bologna, conventionally said to have been founded in 1088 by glossators Irnerius and Pipo, is considered the oldest university in the world. It was an important center of European intellectual life during the Middle Ages, attracting scholars from Italy and throughout Europe. The studium, as it was originally known, began as a loosely organized teaching system with each master collecting fees from students on an individual basis. The location of the early university was thus spread throughout the city, with various colleges being founded to support students of a specific nationality. In the Napoleonic era, the headquarters of the university were moved to their present location on Via Zamboni, in the northeastern sector of the city center. Today, the university's 11 schools, 33 departments, and 93 libraries are spread across the city and include four subsidiary campuses in nearby Cesena, Forli, Ravenna, and Rimini. Noteworthy students present at the university in centuries past included Dante, Petrarch, Thomas Beckett, Pope Nicholas V, Erasmus of Rotterdam, Peter Martyr Vermigli, and Copernicus. Laura Bossi, appointed in 1732, became the first woman to officially teach at a university in Europe. In more recent history, Luigi Galvani, the discoverer of bioelectromagnetics, and Guglielmo Marconi, the pioneer of radio technology, also worked at the university. The University of Bologna remains one of the most respected and dynamic post-secondary educational institutions in Italy. To this day, Bologna is still very much a university town, with over 80,000 enrolled students in 2015. This community includes a great number of Erasmus, Socrates, and overseas students. The university's botanical garden, the Ordo Botanico dell'Università di Bologna, was established in 1568, it is the fourth oldest in Europe. Johns Hopkins University maintains its Bologna Center in the city, which hosts one of the overseas campuses of the School of Advanced International Studies. Say Bologna was founded in 1955 as the first campus of a U.S. postgraduate school to open in Europe. It was inspired by Marshall Plan efforts to build a cultural bridge between America and Europe. Today, the Bologna Center also hosts the Associazione Italo-Americana Luciano Finelli, which supports cross-cultural awareness and exchange between Italy and the United States. In addition, Bologna hosts a music school, Conservatorio Giovanni Battista Martini, established in 1804, and an art school, Accademia di Bellarti di Bologna, founded in 1802. Both institutions were born as part of the reforms introduced by Napoleon Bonaparte. Over the centuries, Bologna has acquired many nicknames, the fat refers to its cuisine, in which the most famous specialities are prepared using rich meats, egg pasta and dairy products, such as butter and parmesan. Another nickname that has been given to the city is the red, which was originally used as a reference to the color of the buildings in the city center, has later become connected with the communist ideology supported by the majority of the population, in particular after World War II, until the election of a center-right mayor in 1999, the city was renowned as a bastion of the Italian Communist Party. The center-left regained power again in the 2004 mayoral elections, with the election of Sergio Cafferati. It was one of the first European cities to experiment with the concept of free public transport. Bologna has also two other nicknames. The first one, the tower refers to the high number of medieval towers that can be found in the city, even if today only 24 towers are still standing. The second one, the learned is a reference to its university. The city of Bologna became a UNESCO city of music on May 26, 2006. According to UNESCO, as the first Italian city to be appointed to the network, Bologna has demonstrated a rich musical tradition that is continuing to evolve as a vibrant factor of contemporary life and creation. It has also shown a strong commitment to promoting music as an important vehicle for inclusion in the fight against racism, and in an effort to encourage economic and social development. Fostering a wide range of genres from classical to electronic, jazz, folk and opera, Bologna offers its citizens a musical vitality that deeply infiltrates the city's professional, academic, social and cultural facets. The theatre was a popular form of entertainment in Bologna until the 16th century. The first public theatre was the Teatro alla Scala, active since 1547 in Palazzo del Podesta. An important figure of Italian Bolognese theatre was Alfredo Testoni, the playwright, author of The Cardinal Lombertini, which has had great theatrical success since 1905 repeated on screen by the Bolognese actor Gino Cervi. In 1998, the city of Bologna initiated the project Bologna Day Teachery, an association of the major theatrical facilities in the city. This is a circuit of theatres which offer diverse theatrical opportunities, ranging from Bolognese dialect to contemporary dance, but with a communication strategy and promoting unity. Specifically, the shows on the bill in various theatres participating in the project are advertised weekly through a single poster. Bologna's Opera House is the Teatro Comunale di Bologna. The orchestra Mozart, 
whose music director was Claudio Abbato until his death in 2014, was created in 2004. Bologna hosts a number of international music, art, dance and film festivals, including Angelica Bologna and Contemporanea, Bolin Festival, Bologna Jazz Festival, Viagra Film Festival, Bill Bol Bol, Danza Urbana FIS Co Future Film Festival, Il Cinema Ritrovato, Live Arts Week, Gender Bender, Homework Festival, Human Rights Film Festival, Some Prefer Cake, Zecchino Doro. Bologna is renowned for its culinary tradition. It has baptized the famous Bolognese sauce, a meat-based pasta sauce that in Italy is called ragu and is substantially different from the variety found worldwide. Moreover, in Bologna the sauce is used only as a dressing for tagliatelle, serving it with spaghetti being considered odd. Situated in the fertile Po River Valley, the rich local cuisine depends heavily on meats and cheeses. As in all of Emilia-Romagna, the production of cured pork meats such as prosciutto, mortadella and salumi is an important part of the local food industry. Well-regarded nearby vineyards include Pignoletto dei Colli Bolognesi, Lambrusco di Modena and Sangiovese di Romagna. Tagliatelle with ragu, lasagna, tortellini served in broth, and mortadella, the original bologna sausage, are among the local specialties. Traditional Bolognese desserts are often linked to holidays, such as Fave de Morti, multicolored almond paste cookies made for All Saints' Day, jam-filled raviol cookies that are served on St. Joseph's Day, and carnival sweets known as frappole, a light and delicate fried pastry topped with powdered sugar, certosino or pan spigel, a spicy cake served on Christmas. Torta di riso, a custard-like cake made of almonds, rice and amaretto, is made throughout the year, as the Supa Inglis.